I'm Joey Hollywood and today I'm reviewing Dread 3D or just Dread. I always liked the original uh, Judge Dread movie with Sylvester Stallone. It was more of a guilty pleasure. I know it's not a great movie. I know it's not a good movie, but it is it's a guilty pleasure. For some reason, you know, I, I did read a little bit of the Dread comic books. I, I read two. I, I recognize that the look of Judge Dread was done very well in that movie. It looked very comic book-like. But Dread himself was not the Dread depicted in the comic books. Or the, at least the ones I read. And I'm not gonna claim to be some authority on Judge Dread. I, I just, from what I've seen, it, from what I've seen the comic books were much darker than the goofball movie that is the 1993 Judge Dread. Well, when the new Dread movie came out, my first thought was, oh, it's a remake or a reboot. I hate remakes and reboots. Ah, I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. And I was boycotting the movie. I was telling everybody, don't watch it. Let's boycott this thing. The remake, Total Recall, the remake and RoboCop. Let's, let's, just, let's just stop watching them. Because if we stop, they'll stop remaking stuff or rebooting. Little did I know that that mentality was a major mistake. Because I honestly and truly do love this movie. I think it has hit really close to my interests. Now I'm gonna say, you know, I do like some stuff in the original movie a lot more. Like, for instance, Sylvester Sloan yelling, I am the law! He, he says it in this one, but it's more like, I am the law. I do like this movie a lot. I like it better than the original. Matter of fact, the, I put the movie, the only reason why I watched the movie is because I worked at a video store and I get free rentals. And I thought, I'll give it a chance. So I put it in, because I wasn't going to pay for this. I get free rentals. So I'm like, I ain't going to put any money towards you, sucker. And I put it in, and I watched it, and I was like, oh. I was like trying to find things to nitpick. And as the movie progressed, I was like, okay, this is actually pretty dang good. And then like once they started going into the building that the whole movie takes place in, I was like, okay, this is better than the original. And it wasn't till it got to uh, one scene where they're firing uh, these laser cannon things that I just I had to just go, man, I missed out. I should have saw this in the theater. I should have just got past my hatred for remakes and reboots. So um, I'm trying to, I, I'm going to be a little bit more open-minded. I'm going to go watch the Total Recall remake. I, I doubt that one's going to be good. I don't think so. I work at a video store and nobody's given that movie a good review. So... Um, but I'm going to give that one a chance because Dread was flipping awesome. Still, still boycotting Robocop. I ain't going to watch that in, until it comes out in DVD and I can rent it for free. That, that's the only way I'm going to, because Robocop, look, look, look at Robocop over here. This, that doesn't even look like Robocop. That looks like a retarded Power Ranger mixed with Batman. I'm pointing at a green screen right now, but you can see it. Doesn't that look stupid? And 209 looks cool, but not... Robocop looks lame. But yeah, uh, just, I gotta say, you know, the, this is probably the best remake or reboot I've seen in a while. And I did like the Star Trek reboot. I did not like Casino Royale, but I did like Quantum of Solace and Skyfall. I'm just so sick of all these remakes and reboots. And it's very, it, it's, I'm surprised that I like this one. And especially since I boycotted it so much. Uh, let me get into the plot of the movie. The plot of the movie is basically The Raid Redemption. If you haven't seen that movie, go out and see it. It's, it's in Japanese, but you know, put on some dubbing of the subtitles and you're set. The movie, this movie, they, they go into this building and the building is locked down and they can't get out and everyone in the building is trying to kill the judges. There's so much action in this movie. It's not just violent, it's ultra-violent. And me, I'm a big fan of ultra-violent movies. It's not something that they really do nowadays. And this movie was definitely the ultra-violent that I liked. The good old ultra-violent. I don't know, I just I just loved it. And I loved that uh, Dredd never took off his mask. Uh, I went back and I rewatched the 1995 Judge Dredd. And I never really noticed this, but he has his helmet off for most of the movie. And for some reason, I just, like, I guess in my mind, I put the helmet on him in my memories. Because I, I honestly don't like that he had the helmet off that much. And I know that he has he never takes off his helmet in the comic books. But for a movie, I give that I would give that a little leeway. I would say, okay, he can take off his helmet because it's a movie. So I understand that, but I didn't like how the original he had his helmet off almost the entire movie. Where this one he had his helmet on the entire movie, and I thought that was just fine. 
I did want to see his face about midway through. I was like, you know, I'm getting tired of looking at that. Especially when they brought in other judges, I couldn't tell them apart. I do have a little complaints, but they're not big enough for me to just bash the movie. And I hope this becomes a franchise. I know it was a sleeper and it got past everyone because of people like me. But I hope a franchise is branched off of this. I hope they bring in the dark judges. I hope they bring in, you know, some more villains. I hope they explore the actual world that Judge Dredd lives in. Because they, they stayed confined in one building this movie in this movie, but I would like to see the world explored because the world of Judge Dredd, if you look into it, it's actually a pretty cool little world. That's why I go back to the original Judge Dredd because it does explore his world in a more 90s goofy way, but I do like that. But I'd like to see more of Judge Dredd's world. I wouldn't want to be confined in a building for the next movie and I hope they make an, a next movie. It, it's really sad, you know, like these movies come out and you're like, oh, that's a good movie. I hope they don't make a sequel. And then you have a billion sequels where well, a movie like this comes out and you want to see more, but it flops because of jerks like me who didn't want to see it because it was a reboot and you miss out on sequels. So I hope they make a sequel. I really, really do. I looked into it. There, there's some talks, but you know what? Talks can last forever. And if anything, you know, the Punisher sequel, they talks on that for about like eight years and then they just rebooted it and it sucked. So, you know, I really hope they make another Judge Dredd movie. I really do. I hope they don't call it Dredd 2 because I, just call it Judge Dredd. That's a little pet peeve I have with the title. Really do love this movie. I highly recommend it. Go out and go see it. Don't, don't be like me and go, oh, I don't like remakes and reboots. Go check this one out. It's, it's definitely one of, my, one of my favorite remakes or reboots. Up there with John Carpenter's The Thing, The Blob, you know, all those. There, there's somewhere in there is Judge Dredd. Or just dread. Whatever. I don't care. Well, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it enlightening. Say, do you like movies? Do you like movie reviews? Well, check out this website. It's called WeLiveFilm.com. They have reviews from people like me and many others. I suggest you check it out. I'll see you in my next review. Here are the Bruce Campbell facts and quotes of the day. Bye! Yeah, I am not looking forward to the robot. You know, just, I know I normally put bloopers here, but I've got to ask you guys, please write in the comments below, what do you think of the RoboCop remake? Because I am, the fact that they're going to a reboot, I, I'm not looking forward to this RoboCop remake at all. I mean, RoboCop was the, the dirty little secret in my room that I, when my mom wasn't around, I'd put it in the VHS tape and I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's so violent. And the mom would come home and I'd be like, oh, I was watching cartoons. Yeah, but you know, I, I just, I, I have a nostalgic thing with RoboCop and I don't really like what they're doing with it. And I don't know, it just doesn't look like RoboCop, it doesn't look like something I would like, but they're, they're like, oh, we're making this for another generation, but like, then call it something else, you know? I don't know, I'm just not looking forward to it. Tell me your opinion right below, tell me your opinion.